here we're highlighting some University of Wollongong research on additive biofabrication. So this technology uses 3D printers, which you can see here, building up an object layer by layer from digital data. But instead of printing plastics or metals, we're actually printing living structures, so living cells and biomaterials to make living tissue. And eventually, one day, this technology might be used to create uh, completely printed organs for an individual patient. We're looking at uh, sun protection and also adolescence and today we've got the UV camera that we'll be showing to the community and it'll show levels of exposure to the sun uh, and also what damage has been done to your skin. Our home, the Illawarra Flame, is a net zero energy solar powered home that we're entering into the solar decathlon in China. We're the only Australian team to be ever involved and the University of Wollongong is the only Australian university to be involved as well. Our home will be shipped to China in July and all students will be participating in the 10 decathlon competitions uh, when the competition begins in August. We're really excited about the competition and we leave uh, yeah, in July this year so hopefully we do well. <laughs> Okay, so what you've got here is a segment of my teaching spells, a selection of them from the ten. Um, modern, anatomically modern humans, so Asmob is all of this. These are all people, you know, taken from skulls of people who've been alive in the last couple hundred years. Where is here? This is Homophrosiensis. This is the Hobbit. Um, and so she's an archaic hominid. She's, these are all modern people. She's pretty old and pretty strange. Uh, the first one is a computer vision system that can determine if a person is male or female based on the facial image. And the second system is a 3D imaging system for assistive navigation of blind people. So basically this system uses 3D camera to uh, measure the distance and uh, to the nearest obstacle and determine the type of the obstacle. Thank you.